Look, if you really want to have a successful life, I'm talking about making a ton of money, being in the top 1% of the world, being able to help your family, live in different countries, be able to have that like elite lifestyle, you probably should not get a girlfriend in your early 20s. Look, when I was in university, uh, from the ages of 19 to about 22, I actually had a girlfriend. And at the time, the stakes were pretty low, right? I was in university, and the only thing I really needed to do was get good marks, which was totally fine. But when I graduated university, now all of a sudden, boom. I was put into the big leagues. And that's the thing. As soon as you're done your education, your formal education, if you choose to even go that route, guess what? You're now competing in the same league as people who are 30, 40, 50 years old. And if you have zero experience, right? Zero professional experience, guess what? You're gonna get swiped out by everyone else because if you have a girlfriend in your early 20s, guess what happens, right? You have to give that partner a ton of attention. Now, I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend. It was, um, I think I was 22 at the time, something around that. And thank God that happened. No disrespect to her, but thank God that happened because it allowed me to focus on my career. It allowed me to focus on building a business. It allowed me to focus on becoming the best version of myself. Because the truth is, having a partner in your early 20s requires so much attention, right? Naturally, if you have a partner, and there's nothing wrong with this, but women require a lot of attention, right? They, they, need, they need to be nurtured, they need a lot of attention, and that's perfectly fine. But it's not worth it to give that attention in your early 20s. Because when you're giving that attention in your early 20s, you're taking away from your business. You're taking away from your personal growth. So truthfully, from the ages of 20 to 25, I wouldn't even think about finding a girlfriend. And here's another thing as well. Even if you do go and look for a girlfriend, right? And you say, oh no, you know what? I can figure it out. I can make it work. You at 22, 23 years old, you are competing against the guys who are 30 years old, 35, even 40 years old for the same women. And guess what? you have no chance against them. Because you at 22, 23 years old, you're just starting out, you probably don't have any money, right? You have zero stability, you haven't even figured yourself out. Whereas the guy who's 30 years old, he has stability, he has made money, he knows where he's going. And guess what? Women are gonna gravitate to those people. Why? Naturally, because they're better providers. They are, they, they are just people who are more secure. And women go to security, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying anything wrong, this is just human nature. But, you in your early 20s, right? You don't have that. So what you need to do is focus on yourself, build yourself up. Why compete in a game that is going to hold you back and a game that you're gonna lose even if you did compete into it. Use your 20s to focus on yourself. Grow your business, think about those ideas. Go through those failures. You're gonna go through hardships. If you really wanna become successful, I'm talking about have your own business, make a lot of money, do all these things that you, know, you see all these people do online, I'm telling you, you're gonna go through hardships. And if you have to deal with those hardships while maintaining a relationship, it's very hard. And to be honest, it's pretty unfair to the partner you have too, because you're gonna be trying so hard to get your business off the ground that you will neglect your partner. And naturally, that's gonna create resentment and separate you two. So why not just disregard all the relationship stuff up until you're 25 years old, and then when you're when you're stable, once you have your business going, once you're in the right direction, once you know where you're going, once you've made a little bit of money, once you you know you feel a little bit secure, you know where you're going, then you can look for the right partner. Then all of a sudden, when you in the in the marketplace for competing, guess what? You have a really high value. Now people will start to come to you. I'm telling you honestly that now that I'm 29 years old. I have a girlfriend now, so I'm like I'm very settled, it's great, I love it, but I've also noticed that now that I'm 29 years old, it's way easier and people are a lot more attracted to me, not just like women, but people in general, no, like they talk to me with a lot more respect, they talk, they look up to me a lot more because I have that stability. When I was 20, 22, 23 years old, people kind of looked at me like a kid because I, I was, I was still figuring things out. So there's nothing wrong with that, that people are looking at me that way, but the, it was the reality was that I didn't have my life figured out and the world will not respect you until you're in a place of stability. The world will not respect you until until you're at, you have actually accomplished something. So go out, accomplish something in your life. Go out, make something of your life, make something of yourself. And you will see by the time you're 25, 26 years old, bam, all the options will come towards you. You'll have the money. You'll be able to have that beautiful girlfriend that you were looking for. You'll be able to travel. You'll be able to do all those things, but it won't come without sacrifice. So use these
these years, your early 20s, 20 to 25, just sacrifice, focus, focus. I'm telling you, if you sacrifice these five years, the rest of your life, the rest of your life will be a whole nother level. You will be living so much better if you can just sacrifice these first five years. So take this, apply it to your life, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.